This video explains how to handle the error message unused argument when applying a user-defined function in the R programming language. So without too much talk, let's dive into the R code. As a first step in this tutorial, we need to create a user-defined function, as you can see in lines 2 to 4 of the code. So in these lines of code, I'm creating a function which is called myfun1. And this function takes the value x as input, performs a certain calculation, and returns the result of this calculation as an output. So if you run lines 2 to 4 of the code, you can see at the top right that this function myfun1 is appearing. And now let's assume that we want to apply this function to two input values, the values x and y, as you can see in line 6 of the code. So if you run this line of code, you can see at the bottom that the error message error in my fun unused argument y equals to 2 is returned. And the reason for that is that our user defined function only takes the input value x, but not the input value y. So if we want to change that, we can use the code that you can see in lines 8 to 10. So in these lines of code, I'm using basically the same syntax as in the previous example. However, this time I'm specifying these three dots as additional possibilities for additional arguments in our user-defined function. So if you run these lines of code, you can see at the top right that another function is appearing, which is called myfun2. And now we can apply this function, as we already tried in the first example, to our two input values x and y. And as you can see, no error message is returned anymore, and the function returns a valid output. That's all I wanted to explain in this video. In case you want to learn more on this topic, you may check out my homepage, statisticsglobe.com, because on my homepage I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the content of this video in some more detail. I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video, so you can find it there. If you have liked this video or if you have any questions, let me know in the comments section below. I'll try to respond to all comments as soon as I can. Furthermore, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notified about future video releases. I have already published about 500 videos on this channel and I'm releasing new videos on a daily basis. Thanks a lot for watching, see you in the next video.